Hey guys. Sorry, I forgot I had my mic muted. I mean, I'm, I'm, I didn't talk too much anyway. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Granny's staying over, so gotta be quiet. I uh, just thought we'd relax and do something sort of low-key, atmospheric, um, like Limbo here, which is kind of like a Brady, um, sort of like Knit Chronicles, or Knit Stories, if you guys know what I'm talking about there. Uh, uh, that's not gonna work. But you know, just sort of play something atmospheric and quiet that we can just enjoy. Um, well, I don't really talk too much. I can't even really have chat open because the game only runs full screen. So, I'll reply every now and again. Not sure how long the game is. But, um... I was, um, I was saying before, actually, I really enjoy the art direction of this game. Um, it looks really nice. It's very simple, which sometimes means lazy. But in this game, it's pretty well put together. Um, I certainly wouldn't like to see the developer make the same game twice. I uh, like the same art style twice. Hello! But um, I really like how they worked lighting into it. And some games have lighting. And I'm not talking about shadows, as I normally play with that turned off. Oh, you can die from fall damage, interesting. Um, but I love how, like, when you solve them, like a new puzzle, you sort of move in such a way that the the trees part and some light comes in. It's just a very clever, clever nod. Um, you know, big, big fan of well-done art direction in, you know, movies mostly. Uh, but it works in video games. A lot of times video games are pretty pretty lazy in that regard. And that's alright. It's obviously more important in a movie where you don't have any form of interaction. So your investment to the characters, the setting, etc. is completely reliant on what you see and what you hear. Whereas in a video game, you have the mechanics, so, you know, running around as this little boy feels good. Uh, with controller, anyway. Couldn't imagine it on keyboard. Probably isn't that good. But, um, that feels right, so I sort of get into it. Hmm. Not sure why we're going around breaking eggs, but... That's what we're doing. I'm sorry, Zelfus. Uh, I missed your comment before, but no, I have no idea why we're here. I mean, if the name of the game is Limbo, um, it sort of implies that either we're dead or we're... No, it, it, sort of, it definitely implies that we're dead and we're sort of lost in this... Um, you know, a realm between realms, if you will. Depending on your, um, you know, currently followed mythology, religion, etc., etc. Oh. Uh, you may believe limbo is different things, you may believe limbo doesn't exist, but I think um, going on the Judeo Christian religion, limbo is, you know, when your soul dies and you're, you're lost, essentially. Um, whether you've been forgotten or whether you just haven't been judged between heaven and hell. You're sort of just stuck on earth. So this is interesting. I can make an assumption about what I do with this here. I'll probably go back to be quiet and have you guys just sort of relax and chill with me.
Even the audio keys are really, really good in this. I love it. This is actually, it's a really gritty, really, um, really ugly game. Makes me feel gross. Uh, I quite like it actually. I think it's actually something Kaylin would enjoy. She really enjoys these sort of grotesque and sickening um, things. Very into imagery like that. supernatural then, but if you guys want a movie that makes you feel absolutely disgusting after watching, uh, Bad Lieutenant's pretty good. Uh, the original, original one, not the Nicolas Cage one. Uh, another video game that would remind you a lot like this is, um, oh shit, what's it called? Oh, The Path. Yeah, The Path is quite good as well. Um, sort of has to deal with Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, let's try. But, it's basically if there's like a bunch of Little Red Riding Hoods and they were all, um, going out into the woods, uh, separately of course, to deliver stuff to Grandmother's house. It's quite a... Uh, is it not gonna go far again? It is. It isn't. So it's here. Um, but the path is a game that makes you feel absolutely gross. And there's almost no story. Although you can argue there's a lot of story. Uh, you just have to find it. Here. Yeah. If it came down to it, I mean, certainly kill a spider to save my life, but I do quite like them. Very honest as far as um, animals go. Hmm. I don't feel good about this. Try and jump out of it, little boy. Okay. Am I dead dead? Or... Well, I mean, this may have been meant to happen. of games. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, Twitch has definitely had issues for some people randomly the last couple days. I think it's because TwitchCon's coming. Uh, and again, I'm a smaller streamer, so I'm, I'm not very important. And they sort of take um, server power from us. What is the game? I think it's called Heart of Darkness or something like that. Um, it's, hmm. it's created by the guy who did Another World, I think. Not like the complete same team, but some of the same people. It's a very good game. Another one of those atmospheric, sort of puzzly platformers. The sequel to Another World is really weird. It's good, but it's nowhere near as good, but it's got some interesting things. Ah, okay. This also reminds me of a board game I really enjoy, uh, known as Kingdom Death Monster. It's very cool. Super expensive, um, but to anyone that owns it. Oh, is it something else? The art for that is amazing. A lot of it's inspired by, um, like, Berserk and stuff like that. Hello again, Mr. Spider. Yeah, um, it, it follows one of those pictures worth a thousand words borrowed. Now, so far, it hasn't explained everything, but it has explained some things. Um, but sometimes it doesn't need to. And, oh, cheeky. I'll show you guys the path at some point. The path is a really fucked up, really cool game, though. A lot more so than this one, even. Um, and again, he plays these little red riding hoods. And what is so interesting about it is you're going through the forest. It's playing, you know, creepy music. But although nothing's really happening. However, the further you go off the path, um, the more ominous the atmosphere becomes. Not necessarily... Okay. Not necessarily outright sinister, but it, it becomes a little more, um, I suppose, disconcerting. And the interesting thing is, is you find a lot of sort of items um, as you go outside. Well, that was loud as fuck. But as as you go off the path, you can find items. Um, that will be different depending on the character you're playing, or rather, you can only pick them up with certain characters. That's what I was, is a better way to put it. Like, you'll find something and be like, oh, I need somebody else to pick this up. And as you start figuring out who picks up who, what, you start figuring out more about the person. And the coolest part is, in Little Red Riding Hood, you meet the wolf. And the wolf is a very different being for each of the girls. And it's very interesting sort of thinking and deciding and deciphering why the wolf is what the wolf is to that girl. And then, depending on how well you do, air quotes, uh, depending on how many things you pick up and sort of uh, you, you meet the wolf and, and the girl leaves sort of a broken mess generally. Um, and you get to Grandma's house at the end, and Grandma's house will be very different for each of the girls as well. Uh, it is a very interesting game. If you like Limbo, I would absolutely look into it. Um, I'll probably play on stream sometime, but it's a hard game to get running. It's not the best optimized. I'm surprised that didn't swing back. Might have been spiky and I didn't notice. I 
I don't really think about the traps too much, Zelfus. I do know what you mean, though. It is odd there are bear traps left out. It is odd that there are obvious, like, sort of snares set up and... Oh, hello. Well, this is a puppet, right? Interesting. could be one of those, um, sort of self-help type of deal. Can I step in this fire? I suppose that's fine. Well, never mind. I was going to guess that maybe this is some sort of it, like an, an inner turmoil, if you will. Like the boy is trying to wake himself up, but it appears to be more like a um, Lord of the Flies. Which is a very, actually, a good book and movie. Yes, I see that piggy. Oh no, I thought you were going to drop this on me. Huh. I have no idea how that triggered. I mean, I saw that was there, and it was like obvious something was going to happen, but I'm not sure how it triggers. There's n nothing... I mean, if we look at it, you can't see my mouse, actually, and my mouse doesn't even appear on screen, but if you look above me, there's nothing that allows that to fall off the edge at all. So that is peculiar. Very peculiar. Okay. No, I don't mind being killed by the second one, but I'm very confused as to how it managed to fall through the object. It could be meant to be on the side, but it doesn't really look like it. Either way, it'd be interesting if I could, um... I died there because I was tempted to try something out and I wavered halfway through. I wanted to see if I could jump up and... Hmm? Why isn't it triggering? There we go. Hmm. I tried to do it again. See, I want... Oh. Let's see, the physics of that make no sense either. If a bear trap was flying through the air, it wouldn't exert the force upon hitting you to snap. That's okay. Well, we'll try what I wanted to try then. Nope, I missed it up. I really want to... I, I have to be further up than I thought. Here? No, I missed it. Hmm, not what I wanted at all. I wanted to grab... Uh, can I climb down here? Nope. I hate how the climb down animation kills you every time. There's no, like, climb down a little bit option. Hmm, no, I had that right. It's a bit disappointing. A few times we died in the intro just because the game was like, eh. You just die because you put your toes in the water.
So I've talked about this a bit, but one of the things that most interests me, like theme thematically, um, in movies or films, books, games, uh, and is rarely done, and when done, hardly ever done well. Oh, that was extremely buggy. Sometimes the jump doesn't really work in this game. Um, is sort of the, the loss of innocence. And one thing I really like about Lord of the Flies is they never really truly lose their innocence. And that's what makes it so fascinating is these children commit really, really vile acts, but ultimately they don't know what they've done is wrong. Uh, it's just uh, very interesting to think about. It's one of the reasons why Little Fears is one of my favorite role-playing games that I'll never ever get to play. Um, I've read it time and time again. I've got a signed copy, actually, um, of the original Little Fears. Um, they did make a second version, it just wasn't as good. Uh, and then they came out with sort of an anniversary tribute to the first one called Happy Birthday Little Fears. Very nicely done. Absolutely amazing. Um, I understand why they made the changes they did in the second one. But they took away a lot of the... Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with this thing still being alive, to be honest. Oh. Am I supposed to... But why? Do I push it? This is just sad. I don't know, I find this extremely depressing. <sighs> I suppose I have to encourage it to come a little closer. No? Maybe it's expended all its effort and I have to um, die here actually. I have to wait for it to crawl close enough and then I can push it in the hole. This is the thing, like... Oh, poor thing. Come on. Come on. No, no, that's as far as it can go then. Alright. Yeah. Am I supposed to climb back up here? here but that doesn't do anything. Can I grab this little... Oh. Fuck. It's unfortunate. So it's gotta be I suppose.
suits. Fighters are actually pretty cool. The thing is, like, I don't know. They'll do everything they can to just keep going. It, it's it's fucked up. Like sometimes when spiders molt, they're like left with. Uh huh. I wonder if I should rescue the boy here. I guess we could try. I think he's dead, but like sometimes when they molt, um, just by shedding their skin and growing a new one. Well, it's not shedding, right? Like they they completely rebuild. No, I can't. Uh, their body, but they they can lose a leg and. That's gone forever. And they still live, you know. Um, like some animals that sort of give up once they've lost um, sort of a will to live. Like spiders just keep going. They'll always try. And it's just sad, like, you know, <laughs> like the, they get scared so easily, too, by everything. Not really sure where the parasite comes into play here. Outside mechanics. I mean, I think both you and I, friend, know where this ends. I don't like it. Hmm. Was I... Drag this body with me. If there is one. Yeah. Actually, um, I was. If it wasn't for uh, Granny staying over tonight. Again, this seems right. Um. Okay. I like that. If I step in the middle, we're fine. Interesting. Of course. I was gonna guess that they were gonna change it up this time, because why wouldn't you? Is there anything different about them? Nope. There is literally nothing aesthetically or otherwise to show that. Huh. But there's a difference there. That's bad game design. Um, again, I, I do think this game is quite nice, but this is bad game design here. I mean, this one, I mean, maybe could have had rounded edges or something, and you would have been like, what's, whatever, it's the second one we've seen. They don't even need to come back in the play later. Okay, yeah. uh, sorry, again. Once you press down, your character descends. They will stick their toe on a spike and kill themselves. I was really hoping to play, um, like, some XCOM tonight, or start doing, like, Eye Beholder or something. Uh, it's a game I quite enjoy playing. Similar lands of lore. Get down, get down, get down. No, oh my fuck. See, I press down instinctively as I want to crouch, and the character runs to the edge and starts climbing down. Which is, of course, not what you want them to do. I suppose this one is slightly less long, as you have a very shit jump in this game. Ah, oh, again. I apologize. I just pressed... I just press down because I want to crouch. And the second you press down, he will run to the edge. And you cannot cancel the animation. Which is excellent. Are they going to come across? Who are these 
boys I'm killing, that's what I'd like to know. And why do I feel no remorse in doing so? The non button button. The buton. Yeah. That's what a buton is, everybody. It's a non button button. Oh, I didn't expect that. could have moved this more to the right, it would have made sense in a way. Um, ah, you know, it still makes sense, alright. I wasn't sure I could jump that far. Interesting. So the idea... Too slow, I think. Oh no, I got it. One of my favorite horror series of all time is the Fatal Frame. It's got a lot of similar sound effects to this. Oh, cute little piggy. Piggy of darkness. drop on me? Yes. I assumed as much. Okay, I can't. I see. So I can either slow how fast I'm going in one direction, or speed it up. Oh, see I want that. Yeah, I see what I was supposed to do. We did have a little bit of uh, foreshadowing to this earlier. Yeah. That hacks, though. Come on, little buddy. I do want to reach that. Oh, come on, piggy pig. Now I'll get you some mushrooms, don't worry. Take me a while, though. Hmm. Okay, 
so we're gonna have water come through here. No, uh, what are you doing? Come on, little piggy. I'm just gonna eat one. They disappear. Do I need to chase him into the cog? Yeah. So is he gonna power the machine? Is that the plan? This really is an awful little game. Such a terrible person. And there's like no justification, no realization, nothing. Hey. Right, let's go try pulling it now. Makes me wonder who this character was before that they've just accepted life to be what it is. Yeah, this should stop it though, right? This transfers power. Well. Right. Not sure this quite follows, but I'll take it. Am I wrong in thinking? The rain above should be more than sufficient. Either way. Goddamn sense. Okay. Oh, I need it in the middle. Oh, the log. Oh, the log's there now. No idea we made him fall off the, um, the cloth here. <laughs> Too rough.
Ah, I see now. Nice. Mega Man's head puzzles are very similar to these, though. And while, like, artistically this game's amazing, um, the art direction is very good, the atmosphere is very good, the music, and, well, music, if you will, the sound effects, very nice. Um, but ultimately it's just the same two puzzles over and over. Otherwise, you can't flow them. <laughs> also annoyed that stepping on the the box fucked me over there. Oh well. I hate to say it, but while we got there, I'm actually disappointed that was the solution, and it wasn't more um, agility-based, but oh well. See, this is what I expected more of. Solve things fast, and all that. Judged. I always forget you don't really jump too far in this game.
See, I quite like it when it's like this. Like the atmosphere and everything really leads to like a sense of urgency and dread. So it goes quite well with um, more time puzzle solutions. Oh, this one's clever. I like this quite a bit, actually. Well, job well done. I thought I wanted to be infected. That was seeming like to me. I have to be, I see. Last time let me get away with uh am I supposed to that? yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I pushed the button because I thought the game was frozen or something. I wasn't sure why it was taking so long to switch sides. Oh, I fucked it. This is a bit odd here. Before it was like timed. What's up? I've actually never really watched Simpsons, to be honest. Yeah. This is bugged. Push this to the end for absolutely no goddamn reason. Nope. 
still. Alright. Uh, Alright. It's just not switching sides. starting me here actually I appreciate that quite a bit this game's um I suppose one way to put it is if Abe's Odyssey wanted to make you feel disgusting and less like a person um, or a human being, I suppose. Would be a better way of putting it. I'm done. Which, I mean, um, that said, Apes Odyssey certainly had its own messages. It's quite a powerful game. Puzzles were better and worse done at the same time. Oh, certainly better. A lot bigger game, but the um, mechanics and the controls were fairly stilted and well not perfect we'll just say that much. oh shit there we go snap I assume we go up I could be wrong I'm not sure where this little boy's trying to go well not there Let's see if it's flooded below. Did the water stop rising? Sort of. Yeah, there's nothing over there. I figured as much. I don't actually see any humor in this game's office. I'm sorry, I'll be honest. This doesn't feel right. That was neat. So it's just the... ah, uh, yeah, okay, I getcha. Oops. 
I didn't think it was going to last so long. Interesting the animation is not always the same. Oh, push jump there and he decided to just kill himself. Whatever works. Like we're doing a sort of past lives esque um, type of deal. So first we were in the jungle. We had sort of Vietnam esque um, imagery. I'm not sure that was as intentional as it was. Because this time frame here. Let's see, Vietnam was 50s, yeah? No. 57. 54. No, I think it was later than that. 60s. 50 was the Cold War. Hmm. Oh, glass. Interesting. Let's hope I might break some more. The aesthetics here don't match um, Vietnam idea at all. So either it's like different lives. Well, that's annoying. Ah, I see. You might, yeah, yeah, I get you. I'm dead. Then push jump in time. It's actually pretty much the same height. I'm surprised that didn't work. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. Oh my, what the fuck. I'm coming at it from a different angle. Oh well. I assume it's trigger based. to go. Uh, okay. Apparently he wanted to drop all the way down. I didn't um, let go. Hmm. Well, I'm not deal with that mechanic again, thanks. I feel like I don't have much of a choice. I'd rather look before I leap.
Uh, I have to push that now then. Or else we won't have access to the lights. I assume it's going to make us run left. Mm. Yes, of course you are. Fair enough. We're ready for you. Do I kick the buckets? I don't. Interesting. This isn't light enough. Questionable. There's certainly a lot to do here. Once we find something to eat my brain. Do I step on it? Oh, I should have fucking stepped on it, shouldn't I? Yeah. But again, how would you know? I don't mind trial and error. When trial and error doesn't have like a 10... Oh, thank fuck. I was going to say, if the respawn was way back there, I would have been pissed. Like, there's no way to know you have to step on it. Come on. <laughs> Yes, we cut it off. Great success. Uh, the next I cut the open so damn slowly either. So I can't think of many parasites that intentionally try and get themselves killed. Their host, certainly. Oh, oh, well, I think it was so good. Honestly, getting caught by the saw blade there would have spun our momentum forward and propelled us. Only would have lost a foot. I fucked. I jumped. Hi guys, no one on. Why are you coming back? What the fuck? making this machine work or why it does what it does. So I assume we go back to the elevator. Ooh. Okay, one of these puzzles. Sure. Don't make me rock it, that's stupid. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 
friends from the forest. Why this? Well, can cannot. Why? Good idea to push that in there. I assume the idea is I'm supposed to be able to get on this side and not have it fully closed and trap this in there for some reason. Maybe I just need like a crazy running jump. No, you always like tap it. through there. Oh, okay. So is this the idea? It won't go. Like, the character just instinctively grabs onto it because it's nearby, uh, which is frustrating. I'm not sure if this is the puzzle, but it's something I can play with, so it makes me assume yes. I don't know why it went back down there. more leave oh shit oh no no that was interesting it actually felt like it had a little weight to it no I don't like this metal on metal sound effect it's driving my ears nuts like doesn't it feel like that's what I'm supposed to do, but... I have no fucking idea. I can't reach this, that's all I know. Oh, 
there's a crate. Ah, uh, well now everything makes fucking sense. Well, it's a rolly crate. there for a second. Too much physics. What's that do for me? Ah, yeah, that's the plan. Oh, that's really depressing. again and then jump. So I need to about here. I assume I have to jump to the right here. My character won't look that way, but I think that's where I have to go. up after it hits you. So, we gotta do this one first. Uh, probably want a little closer, actually. It's only a toe. What do we need toes for? Both, okay. No, they're not gonna stack. Unless I think I'm supposed to get them to stack and then push them back. Three, four, five. Fuck you, game! Piece of shit. momentum to him. Absolutely none. Like, I, I presume I need both of these to get up, right? Like, I'm not just trying to jump over the goddamn... Maybe I am. find out. I'm pretty sure I needed those to get up though. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, fucking damn it, Bobby. Like, one job. Like, oh, I hate how slow the character is sometimes. Why he feels the need to mount both of them separately, I don't know. Like, if you get them, like, perfect, he doesn't have to. But, you know, he wants to die, whatever. Oh, whoops. understand why the physics needs to work like that when that doesn't make any fucking sense. Unless these boxes are made of paper. I fucked it. Yeah, not enough time now. Oh, what time is it? 4.44. Probably call it for tonight, guys. Thanks for joining me, everybody. It's, uh... You know what I mean? Stuff. And things. Oh, apparently... There's DDoS attacks against certain internet service providers. Huh interesting thing. Anyway, take it easy everyone. Uh, signing out for the evening as it's almost 5am and I've got a long day off tomorrow of course because it's chore day because I haven't had a day off in again a week so yay. At least, at least I have one off this week. That's a bonus. But yeah, i got a lot to do so talk to all you guys later and stuff and yeah, see you tomorrow.